Welcome to Startup Greece Talks. On this episode, I will meet Anthony Lostromos, founder of Bitbull. Welcome, Bitbull. And uh, Anthony, nice to have you here. Hello, thank you for your invitation. I really appreciate your time. It's a great pleasure to have you and to share with us what you are doing on your startup. And also, I would like to, to learn more about you and I would like to, to have your personal story. Who is behind uh, Bitbull? Well, I'm a single father for the past nine years and I've uh, participated in many projects, some of my own and some others uh, friend of friends of mine where I had to help them. And we always encountered all kinds of issues. So I was always trying to figure out ways to solve these issues. Um, I try to do balance both family and, and work. Uh, I think I'm doing fine until now, up so far. So we'll see. <laughs> as far as I know, you have done too many different and too many projects and too many successes. I would like to, to learn more about them. And if you would like to tell us a failure, you know, uh, a story that it was a disaster. Well, a disaster is uh, basically every project is a disaster unless it uh, you you can you're able to continue it mm -hmm. and to bring it to a scale where more more people benefit from this project. So uh, up to the point where you are, you're the only person that's benefiting from this project, it's not a success yet. In my mind, this is my opinion. So I have done a lot of things. I've opened online shops. I've made uh, candle manufacturing businesses. I've made YouTube channels. <laughs> I've tried to uh, do everything that uh, catches my attention and I feel like it's interesting for me. So I learn in every single time and every process new things, which is the most important thing. So, so far, I'm trying to manage. Okay, that's great. Too many projects have been done with huge success. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to learn more about how you come up with the idea of, of Beatboot and what make you to, to say, okay, I have to make this. Yes, well, as I said, I, I came across many issues, okay? And I had issues as a buyer and issues as a seller. And I was like, you know, these issues, they shouldn't exist in the first place. They shouldn't occur. So Bitpool basically is my answer and my solution to all these problems. And uh, there's a system and a methodology that overcomes all these issues from having spam and scam uh, interactions over the platforms up to uh, losing money or, you know, not getting paid for work you've done. So all these little things, Bitpool does uh, successfully overcome and uh, eliminate. So what is Bitpool? Well, Bitbull is a, a, a platform that's based on demand. Uh, on the contrary, there is the, the, the business model that we all know that is currently available is the push selling. So you have this, this watch, I have this watch, I have the best watch for the best price. Who wants a watch? This way, uh, there are many flaws in this model. So I created a method that's called bid pulling. So what I do is I take the demand, I publicize it, I make it public, and I attract suppliers who can actually fulfill this demand and can actually deliver on time what I need to give me their best offer in order for me to choose out of these offers and select the most lucrative offer that suits my case. You know, you are trying to solve uh, a big issue that too many companies, too many, even if individuals face it. So would you like to, to give me an example? Because... Uh, some people maybe cannot understand what you're exactly doing. Of course. Well, Bitpool is designed to work uh, as a tool, okay? It's a tool for people to use however they, however they like. All users are both buyers and sellers. So the, the same membership it, it doesn't distinguish between, ah, he's a buyer or, ah, he's a seller. So when you sign up on Bitpool, which is free, uh, you can post your demand and say, oh, okay, I'm a furniture manufacturer. I need wood or I need uh, machinery, tools, employees, or services like 
I need a new website. Um, I need logistic services to send my products over overseas. So when you create the demand, we know what you're looking for and we notify automatically through the platform the suppliers that can actually give you an offer. So the suppliers uh, don't have to advertise anymore. They just sit back and receive the demands and we say, hey, you want to sell 300 tons of uh, oak wood to this uh, this uh, member that is a furniture manufacturer who wants to buy oak wood. So if you can fulfill this demand, then you just give your most competitive bid. Uh, if not, then there's no reason for you to waste your time talking to this buyer or for the buyer to talk to the supplier. So it eliminates a lot of hassle and a lot of uh, work, basically, that the buyers have to do to source because like platforms that uh, basically you go and you say, okay, I want to buy wood. They say, okay, these 200 people sell wood. Good luck. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, you have to contact each and every one of them individually and say the same thing. It doesn't change. What I need doesn't change. So why do I have to continuously repeat myself when they cannot fulfill my demand, most of them? So it's a waste of time, waste of effort. And then the suppliers, they just get notified for free. They, supp they submit their bid. And if their bid is accepted, they, the cost of the whole transaction is 4%, which is combined for bid pool and escrow services because we have partnered up with escrow.com. Escrow.com secures the transaction. Basically, uh, when you choose a bid and you say, okay, I want to get Thanos's bid for 20,000 euros, you make the payment to accept the bid, the payment goes to escrow, and the payment is kept safe until I get, uh, I receive, check, and verify that Thano delivered on time, without problems and mistakes, and without damages over the, the transport. So when I receive okay, then I give the order, and escrow releases, releases the funds towards the supplier minus the 4% and get paid immediately. They know that they're going to get paid in full. And uh, there is a, a security on both sides. And it's a win-win-win, basically, because we all win out of this, uh, this method. And uh, we try to complete the transactions as fast and as securely as possible. So what's, what's the, the process of our, the progress so far? What, you, what have you done? I know that you have done it offline before, so you have... Uh... Um, provide this service to several um, people and companies. So what's, what's the progress that you have so far? Oh, yes. In the beginning, I used to do this manually, <laughs> offline, how you say it. Uh, I used to support uh, investment funds for real estate investors and uh, people that manage properties or hotels. So I used to do this in my own way, manually. So then I thought, I said, why isn't there a platform doing this? I mean, it's so easy and so simple. So I started looking for a developer. I wasted a long time, like more than four months, into finding a, a developer. The developers were not delivering or they couldn't do what I needed. And it was, it, it, you could see that it's not going to work. So basically, I decided to learn. I went on Udemy. I paid for a course and I got the course. And within two weeks, I had the basic structure made by myself. But the thing is, I, because I am not a professional developer, uh, I did make something that, yes, it was looking nice and it did work, but in the long run, it couldn't scale, basically. So now I've partnered up with uh, a very, very clever guy, and he's now my CTO, and he's he and we are both together, basically starting to build it from scratch, making a new app, which because now also we know the whole process that we want to and the functions that we want to implement in the platform, it's much easier and the result is going to be amazing, I'm sure. So um, you, you told us about the 4% that you get out of, any, out of every transaction. So is that enough in order to make your business sustainable, scalable in the long term? Well, first of all, it's not the only uh, stream of revenue. Okay, this is not the only income of Bitpool because we also have memberships where uh, paid memberships give you more features and more functionality. And uh, also there is uh, a system that I've designed which eliminates scam and spam uh, intentions. It's a, it's a BP token system, we call it. Basically, it's a currency that we create and we redeem. So there's no value of, for to BP tokens off the platform. 
So if I know and you're a verified member and you've sent me your proof of address and your proof of ID, uh, I grant you the BP tokens for free. I just give you as many as you want. And these BP tokens basically, they, they each action on the platform costs BP tokens to create. So if you want to create a demand, it's about 10 BP tokens. If you want to submit a bid, it's 10 BP tokens. So if you're not verified, you have to pay. So basically 10 BP tokens is equivalent to $5. You have to pay $5 to say something stupid and that will not let you, and it will not allow you to say something stupid because nobody wants to pay to say something stupid. And on the other hand, scammers, they send uh, 1000 emails and if one person gets fooled, they make money. Why? Because the attempt didn't cost them anything. With our system, for him to send 1,000 emails, basically, it would cost $5,000. Uh, so it, they will not make that back from the attempt because they cannot scam that many people with this amount. And uh, it makes it all, the whole process is unworthy. So that's another stream of revenue, the BP tokens. And as I said before, the memberships. And the 4%, yes, it is a small percentage, but the deals are big because this method is not used for one when you want to buy one or two items because the price doesn't change from the one supplier to the other. But if you want 25 items, I'm sure I can find you a better, a better offer for one guy than uh, somebody else. So the, the volume is huge. The percentage is small. The numbers are big, though. <laughs> Yeah, so sure, there are big numbers if you do, you know, wholesale and things like that, you know, the percentage, yeah, is more than enough for now, at least, because we have seen platforms like uh, eBay and uh, other platforms like Amazon and uh, it's not wholesale over there, it's not a big deal, but they charge quite a lot. Um, so I believe that, you know, the market is big, um, but do you have some numbers to share with us? Well, the truth is that because I want to go back to your previous, uh, what you mentioned previously, like if you take an uh, uh, an example of Airbnb, okay, they charge 14% on the one end and 15% on the other end. So what they basically do is they're pushing their users to go around the platform because it's both their benefit to go around the platform. So basically Airbnb's job now is to become the police of commissions and they have to chase and find who didn't pay the commission. And so I don't need to do that. My commission, my, my fee is so low for, that's one of the reasons why my fee is low because uh, I want to give a valuable service and get paid enough, but not too much. So people feel that, you know, they're not, uh, they didn't uh, get scammed basically because uh, a lot of people on Airbnb are not happy with fees, for example, or eBay or other platforms like Amazon. Every marketplace, yeah. Can you repeat your question, please? Yeah, because I please please tell us about the market, and um, for sure it's something that it seems to be big. Um, but how big is what you are looking for, and uh, what you are what you are willing to focus? Where is your focus actually on the market? Well, yes, in the beginning, because a lot of people think that this is a B two B platform, okay, mm -hmm. which is is true up to a point. But if you take an example for us here in Greece, okay. Here in Greece, a lot of people live in uh, buildings with apartments, uh, uh, building blocks. Okay, so you have a building that's got 12 apartments. This means that 12 owners of the apartments, after 25, 30 years, they have to agree and sit down and find who's going to paint the building to not get it destroyed because you have to refresh the paint outside. So it's very hard for them to do this. And it's not transparent. So, you know, the one guy says, oh, I have a cousin, he can do it. He's got a whole crew and says, I have a friend that he can do it. So with Bitbull, they can just make the demand as a building, as like the, the building manager can make the demand. And then they just accept, the, receive the offers and they sit down through them and they can, it's easier for them to see what's going on and how to get the best deal available. So this is not a business this is a it's a it's a private uh, use of Bitpool basically. Mm -hmm. uh, now businesses from uh, the Greece the Greek market that we're targeting basically in the beginning is uh, full of uh, tourism businesses and hotels are a very big industry here in Greece. So they always have big demands. They have a specific time frame when they need it. So it's very easy for us to target 
this uh, this market and uh, we did that by joining uh, and and attending Xenia Expo which was in 2022 in November uh, with our own stand and we had a lot of uh, interest and uh, very good feedback so we're starting with big projects like that and the idea is to become a tool and anybody can use it for anything possible even if it's a service or a product because somebody who wants a website also okay a website what would it cost five thousand euros yes okay so you give an advance of a thousand euros and then you're waiting for the developer when he's going to start working on your website so you call him up he's like ah yes i was i was busy or my kid was sick or whatever and i'm going to start next week so with bitpool this cannot happen because if he doesn't deliver on time you get your money back he doesn't get paid it's basically a contract between the two the two parties that you know i will put the money and you will put the result then like that how i need it otherwise i get my money back or at least part of it it's a, it's a very good pass it applies to many markets sorry yeah it sure. applies to many many markets. many markets it's a good starting point to start with a business like uh, hotel industry and tourism industry that they have you know specific requests and specific um uh, specific time the demand is high so i see there is quite a good potential of there with what we said before uh, it's a good pass and um, to ask you there are some other services some other platforms like freelancer.com or Duletaras. freelancer.com could provide you you know could find developers and they have also some uh, they play they they have also the the the, the safety of doing the transaction because if i don't get deliver if i don't get my delivery when it's supposed to be done then i can get the money back um, and and first of all escrow is a freelancer company they're the same company exactly mate. exactly, exactly. Yes. So, but what's what's the fee that freelancers asking for you yeah. know yeah yeah i know i know it's much higher than uh, than getting uh, another platform but yeah i i see the i see the the opportunity and I would like to, to, to ask you, who are your competitors? Well, this is a big, a big question because, I mean, somebody can say that Alibaba is a competitor. Somebody can say that freelancer.com is a competitor. But if you see it like that, it will only keep us back. It will always only keep us behind. We, we try to see where can we give value. We don't care about the competitors and what they're doing. We care about what we're doing and how we can improve and get from us. We try not to be greedy and we try not to to hassle around. And, you know, if you want to make a demand, we're not going to call you every day and say, ah, oh, can you tell us this? Can you tell us that? We'll do it once properly. And then all you get is what you ask for. And that's that's the goal, basically. Okay, so uh, and for sure, you know, uh, as far as I I see and uh, talking with you, um, a big issue that you probably have is if we are talking about companies and B two B in transactions, let's say, uh, the people that are getting, you know, there is a black market over there, and I'm sure that you are aware how you can manage that black market that you know mobilize the whole system and. Uh, how you face it? Have you faced it already? Have you any thoughts on that? They are the reason I created this because they are the problem. They are what's wrong with the whole process. So when the shareholder understands the value of Bitpool, they will go to their managers and say, look, if you don't get five bids, you don't accept an offer. If you don't have all everything transparent and secured, and for sure we're going to get what we're paying for, you don't accept the offer. You, so the, the shareholders will force them to use this platform and this method. And I'm also writing a book on the method because I am trying to add value. It's called <laughs> We've Been Doing It Wrong. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's going to be out soon. Uh, I, it's sort of an autobiography with a business, a, a business essence. <laughs> okay. But it's basically how I how I had all these problems coming up in all these different sectors and all these different uh, projects and how I sat and I thought how to create a system where it will, it can be used for everything. 
and it solves all the major problems, okay, I, I'm sure we'll find more. And uh, bring it on. I'll, I'll take them on too. <laughs> That's great. Uh, I, like, I like the way that you are trying to, to solve a problem and uh, also to, to create something new, to bring something new in uh, the bad reality that, that we're facing, you know, that type of uh, uh, extra costs as businesses. It's something I needed, and that's why I created it, because I, was, I couldn't believe I'm paying 30,000 euros, and then I have to wish he, he delivers on time, and I wish he delivers the right stuff. Otherwise, if there's some wrong, something wrong in the, in the order, then I'm, well, I'm stuck. What, what can I do? I mean, I ordered in 2010 over Alibaba. I ordered my first order for a shop, and uh, it was from India. It was very cheap, three and a half thousand euro order. It wasn't big, big boys game. So I'm like, okay, it's going to take two months to come. I have to pay, you know, duties and everything. So by the time they came, I made my online shop. I made the products. I put the descriptions, the photos, the stock, the prices. I made spreadsheets with it. What, what will I make if I sell them? And what will I invest this money afterwards to bring? And so I did all this work and then. The, the things arrived, I opened the boxes and mm -hmm. let's say <laughs> let's say I ordered 10 of these black ones, he sent me two of them, three yellow ones and five something totally different. I'm like, what the hell? So I called this guy, I said, dude, this is not what I ordered. He's like, oh, the value is the same, the value is the same. I said, yeah, I understand this. I really like what you sent me. I, I will use them and I will keep them, but you could have saved me all the work. You know, by just informing me from the beginning that, you know, I don't have 10 of those. I have two and I'll send you this and this and this. He's like, no, no, the value is the same. So then I contact Alibaba and Alibaba was, you know, like uh, he's my supplier and I'm getting paid from him. So, you know, deal with it. It wasn't a 30,000 euro order. Otherwise, I take the plane and go to India and square up with him and say, dude, look, we're going to make a lot of money with together and we're going to do a lot of deals. So put this, this and this and this and send it to me now, please. But the, the, the money wasn't, it didn't, it didn't justify this kind of move. So it was only three and a half thousand euros. So I'm like, okay, what do I do now? And I was stuck with it. And that's it. So I felt like, you know how the cartoons when we were kids, the, the head becomes a sucker and you become a lollipop. That's exactly how I felt. I said, why do I have to feel like this? I hate it. So I'm trying to solve all these kind of issues. So you're trying to, to solve this. You have um, a great partner, as you said. And what about the money? Do you have enough money in order to, uh, to proceed, in order to, to find your next steps? Basically, I have invested a lot of money and a lot of time and effort in this platform. Uh, I am in discussions now with uh, various uh, investors, both local in Greece and in the, the US. Uh, the interest is high. The thing is, I don't want to commit to somebody unless I am ready to get a, their money and make use of their money properly and create more value. So I'm very careful and very cautious in uh, the deals I am going to do. You have a progress so far and you are doing things. We talked about the competition. We talk about other services, other marketplaces that are offering um, some Similar. kind of solutions of of your solution, but what about um, the financial situation? You have you are bootstrapped until now. What are your future plans? Yes, I have been bootstrapping. I have invested a lot of time and effort in this, this platform and this business. Uh, this is giving me the opportunity to actually sit and plan it good and better because there's no pressure when you're bootstrapping. Not as much as uh, you know moving forward with investors' money. I have been talking with investment. I have been in talks with investors, both local in Greece and in the US. There is a lot of interest, but uh, I'm very cautious uh, as to, you know, I, I, I always want to add value and offer value. I don't want to take money and then, you know, not, not deliver. My biggest fear is to disappoint. So I'm very, very careful about this. Okay, got it. And um, you know you have to find the right person in order to uh, to 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 get the actually to leverage the value that they, they are getting in the in what you are doing. 
and it's something important that you choose the the investor and they choose the the uh, the startup that they invest both of the sides has to uh, to choose so uh what's what's the plan for for you for the next few months and or years well uh very very soon the new app is going to be launched and as soon as the new app is going to be launched i will go full throttle and i have uh, many many options like one of them is escrow.com who is my partner has one and a half million already registered users they've offered to uh, basically uh, advertise their our partnership and to bring on to bitpool as as uh, customers so that's one of the things that are going to I believe it's gonna it's gonna give us a lot of traction. Then the, the the platform itself is designed to become viral by itself and to to grow organically. So as I mentioned before, the BP tokens is uh, yes, it is a way for us to uh, eliminate spam and scam in, intentions and uh, harmful intentions. But it's also a little a little cheese, like a little bait for users. So if you share a contract, you get free BP tokens. If you invite members and you refer uh, Bitpool to other users and they sign up, you get BP tokens. So it's all designed to grow organically after a point. Um, mm -hmm. The idea is to put little little flames into the four corners and then as these flames grow, there becomes a fire that doesn't stop. So, you know, well, it, it is something it, it, new. Excuse me to interrupt. It's easy to say that, but uh, how you can, you know, let's, let's say, um, find, you know, it's need to build a trust and how people and in or investors or partners could trust on you on what you are saying because you know it seems too optimistic that you know you said that it's going to be viral how you can prove that you gonna make it viral i understand what you're saying and uh, it's basically not a promise it's something i've done many times before I have done other businesses and I have used other methods which were very, very successful and didn't cost anything. But uh, I don't know if it's a good idea to start sharing this here because uh, the value is going to get lost after. I mean, what I can say is that uh, even uh, liking comments on TikTok on a specific uh, page with a targeted audience can help a lot uh, to start a little flame. Or if you want to say, for my candle business, I made a product that it was very, very nice. And I was very lucky. I made everything by myself. I had 3D printers. I was making the matrix from the matrix. I was making, making the molds from the molds. I was making the candles so I could make anything I wanted. So when I went to the, the major, like all the, the major candle suppliers, it was a candle. It was candles for the cakes. Okay. So I went to the cake suppliers that sold the candles to the, the shops. And they're like, who the hell are you? Where did you come from? Are you a candle maker? I said, no. He's like, are you a, are you a, a patisserie maker? Or like a, a cake maker? I said, no. He's like, how did you make this? I said, eh, I used to have a trading, uh, a trading, uh, an e-shop and I used to import uh, stock, but with the capital controls, I couldn't uh, import products. So I decided to make my own products. I was looking something like this for my daughter. It doesn't exist. So it was a market that was wide open. So I, I figured I'll, I'll try and give it a go. And I did this, which is good, isn't it? Like, yeah, they're amazing. I said, if you buy, if you become my first supplier and you buy a, a, an order of 100,000 items or more, I will give you exclusivity for the whole of, uh, <laughs> how do you say, uh, the like not not the not the city, but the whole the rest of the Greece, region. you will have exclusivity. Sorry, the, the whole region, the region, yes, basically. So they're like, okay, they were thinking about it. Um, I went back and I was waiting, waiting. One week went past, second week went past, no show from the guys, from the distributors. So I'm like, okay, they're either copying me or they're not sure I can support them. So what I did is I took a photo of a cake. And I wrote, I love you, because I used to make letter candles. So I wrote, I love you with red letters. And I sponsored this post on Facebook, uh, maximum sponsorship, the most I could pay. And I put it uh, with a little, a, a little phrase saying, 
ask for letter candles from the shop of your neighborhood. So I basically made all the, all the um, uh, consumers, I made them my salesmen because they went into the shop and they said, ah, do you have these little candles? Mm -hmm. So the shop owner said, no, we don't. Then the second guy came in the same day. The third guy came in. The fifth guy came in. So the guy, the, the, the shop owner turned to his wife and said, woman, call our supplier and tell him to bring us these letter candles. So they called the supplier. The supplier didn't have it because it didn't buy them from me. So they found me immediately. So I created a network of 140 shops within a year, which was amazing because then I saved all my, I told them from the beginning to the suppliers, I'm willing to sacrifice my profits to use your network. So they didn't go for it. So I kept all the profits, which was nice. So you have made it. So I think that you have, uh... I've, I've done many, many things like this and, uh, I'm not going to share all my secrets, but okay. uh, that's one of them. <laughs> okay, so there's some hacks there are behind it. So what are you looking for? What's, what's your request? Uh, if you are raising money, uh, what's hmm. the amount of money that you are looking to raise and uh, uh, why? Well, uh, the truth is that if I go to America and I go to funds that are huge and stuff, I can raise a lot of money with this idea. And if I execute the platform properly and I have an app that's working properly, but I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in getting the minimum investment I can, which will allow me to grow viral and to grow organically. So I don't want to spend other people's money just to, you know, spend it and just show off. But uh, I'm trying to use it strategically and in specific areas where the value that's going to be returned is the maximum for this amount. So. I'm not even going to ask for a million euros or half a million euros. I'm even asking for less. So with this money, with this amount, I believe, and I'm very confident that I can, I can make this into a very big thing slowly, gradually. And uh, on the way I'm going to be able, because this is something totally new. I'm pioneering here. I'm trying to innovate. And it's not like I'm opening a burger, a burger shop and I'm saying, okay, let's copy McDonald's. They know what they're doing. They're, they're making a lot of money, so let's just copy their system. There's nobody to copy here. I'm the one who's going to be copied by. So people are going to be copying our models. So I have to leave a room for error, first of all, and improvement. So slowly, slowly, step by step, you go and you see, does it, does it hurt here? No. Let's go forward. Does it hurt there? No. Okay. Oop, here it hurts. So we take a step back and we see, maybe we go that way. <laughs> And uh, by experimenting, I'm sure that we can find a way to grow and uh, become something huge. Everybody, everybody that hears this idea tells me that it's a good idea and it could be used for anything. So the yeah. sky's the limit. Yeah, sure, exactly. And having done it offline and then organically, your organic growth, it's quite important. So you need just to, to boost what you are doing and to, to prove your, what you are doing in a bigger scale. So uh, in order to wrap up, uh, I would like to, to tell us, what are you looking for for your future? I mean, uh, how big it could be and uh, where would you like to see uh, what you are doing as a listed company or something else? Of course, of course as a listed company, but uh, the idea is to... This is never going to end. This is never going to be ready and say, okay, that's it. It's ready. Let it work. I don't think any platform or any software can, can finish and be 100% ready. These things evolve. They evolve according to the markets. They evolve according to a lot of things. And there's a lot of uh, variables that change the game. So we just need to be ready to evolve if something happens. So there is uh, a strategy behind it. And there is many things that even you don't know, even though we spoke a little bit earlier, and there is things that can make this into another tool that's gonna, you know, it's not gonna be just one tool that does one job. It can, it can, really, it can really evolve into something much, much bigger. And uh, I'm not greedy. I don't, I don't care for billions and stuff to uh, you know buy a yacht and a jet and stuff i care to create value first of all and uh, help people second of all and uh, basically make things better because i mean i see around me every day and it gets it's getting worse and worse in a lot of uh, areas and yes maybe the guy who's looking in the rubbish for food 
has nothing to do with people buying bulk, but uh, it's all connected, I'm sure. And uh... okay, so um, as you said, you know, even if you are looking um, to to make bulk buys, even if you are looking or you are staying in the road, you know, everything is well connected. And it's something that even you have heard for the butterfly effect and uh, something that yes. happened here, you're gonna create a huge change in another place in the world. So uh, in order to wrap up, I would like to tell us something inspiring or your favorite quote. Hmm. Well, my favorite quote, what doesn't kill you make you stronger. That is one of my favorite quotes, that's true. So. Exactly. Uh, as they say. So it's a great pleasure to have you. And um, for sure, I, I would like to wish you best luck with what Thank you so much. Need. And let's keep in touch. I'm looking forward for the next steps. Um, and I would like to wish you to be listed quite soon. Thank you very much. So Not much soon, time. because we need to get listed in a proper price, right? In a proper <laughs> <laughs> Sure, sure. So I great, really appreciate great. your time though. Thank you. Thanks a lot.